Well, I got my seat out of the El Camino because, uh, you know, I was doing some rust repair, but I want to make sure all underneath here is chassis saver. So, by the way, there's, um, you see there's two bolts in the back, one on each side. You can't really see these because they got these little plastic things over there that are on here with sheet metal screws. And most of mine are broken off anyway. This is the only one that isn't broke. Because when you're putting stuff under the seat, and these are brittle, they break. So this is 78, so I'm not going to even put these back on there again. But uh, you can see there's a little surface rust here. Two bolts on each side in the back, one on each in the front. And um, best to get at them with a quarter inch drive, 14 millimeter. It's a 14 millimeter. And I use PB Blaster to get them off. And um, well, I don't know if it's a 14 millimeter or 9 16, so that's about the same size. But um, I was afraid of taking these off because I was thinking, oh, are these going to spin inside of here? But no, they were okay. But uh, this is one part. I want to see what the hell's under here. Oh, it's not that bad. Good. It's a little bit of rust right there. We're going to get some... Uh... Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, this is definitely not bad. I was looking at, you know, where I ended, where I was trying to get up under the seat as much as possible. And I saw there was still some rust, you know, but it was just this. That's just a little surface rust. I was checking under this. That looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to chassis saver this because I chassis savered up to there. I'm going to just douse it down and vacuum it out. I'm just going to douse it down with um, rust converting uh, primer and, you know, converts rust into a hard primable. It's a hard primer. And then I uh, give it a coat of, um, um, what do you call it, uh, rubberized undercoating. And then um, give it a coat of... You know silver paint right over the paintable rubberized pro pro professional rubberized undercoating but I'm not going to use the chassis saver because you got to brush it in there and the can with the spray can is going to get all in these nooks and crannies and stuff like that so yeah that's pretty good man I'm pretty that's good I'm, I'm kind of glad I did this because if these rust out <laughs> you know you could fix them but you know, if all this, you know, the, the seat supports and stuff rust out, yeah, it ain't going to be too cool, you know. But, man, it looks like I'm pretty solid. I was just a little bit messed up over here. That's got a new steel plate in there. So, it's been uh, epoxied and chassis savered and undercoated and all that other crap. Not in that order. Not in that order. I didn't weld that in. Actually, I riveted it in with uh, epoxy um, with chassis saver and rivets. And I ground down where I put the epoxy, but so it's more rust proof. So I got a couple spots here. Well, this is good. This is good. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm doing this. So looks like uh, everything's solid back in here. Wow, really cool, man. Good. Now what I did with um, this rust reformer, I put my little wand on there. See this wand? The thing I made. I got to drill. I had to drill this out a little bit, and I had to put the wand in there. So I could spray up through the hole all in there. Like in other words, where there could be surface rust on the inside of that stuff. Now, uh, including up in here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a like a light coat of undercoating, rubberized undercoating, then we're gonna go over it with um, silver paint with that wand and get the silver paint all in there. And this will be far better than factory and far better than somebody would have done in a body shop because they don't do that kind of extra crap usually unless you're gonna dunk the whole car in some kind of chassis saver or something <laughs> that might work okay so I just gave it like a, a spritzing you know not a lot probably should get a little more right here too because uh, where the uh, seams are basically you know where the seams are and uh, not a lot. I didn't really get everything. I really like where the seams are. And that's just so water doesn't get in there. I don't think this will be a problem though because the water, it's just a little higher. But if you leave the window open on the car, it can go in here and get in here and probably sit up in that channel or something like that. So let's get that really, you know, we got to take care of with this crap. Rust reformer. 
That little wand is great because it's like a squirt gun and it gets all in there. So I gotta let this crab dry overnight and then we'll give it a coat of uh, the professional silver enamel. That's what they call it, professional. It's a spray can. <laughs> but it's a good kind of spray can. So you probably get a little bit back there too. Uh, see something back here. This isn't really ain't much uh Not much. It's like a very minor. It's like a very light surface rust back there. I don't think this car's seen this good a treatment since it got out of the factory. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think a body shop would have done all this because even if they replaced all this stuff, they wouldn't go to the nine yards of like they would rust proof over this, and then it wouldn't rust out because people keep it in their garage. <coughs> but I'm not keeping this in a garage. I mean, I'm I got it under a carport, but I drive it and I use it, and I plan to use it in rotten weather like snow and mud and stuff so it's I want it rust proofed good I don't care if the body looks nice I want it rust proof good and on the seat brackets I use the same um, rust killing primer rust converting primer did that but instead of putting like uh, paint over it because I figure paint might chip off and I didn't want to put undercoating I put a light coat of truck bed lining over it <laughs> so that should be more rust proof than the original by far so I'll just stick this in the back of the bed of the old Camino let it dry let that floor dry and then um, I'll just coat it with uh, some silver silver enamel rustoleum professional grade spray can and that'll be a wrap man so that's that was one thing I was kind of worried about you know how bad it was underneath this seat and it wasn't freaking bad at all man and I got it now where it's going to last much longer than the original, and considering it's already almost 40 years old, then it ain't bad. 